When I think of the different qualities of this person um, that really stand out to me, they're a genuine, kind, loving, caring person, a strong sense of, of purpose, a strong faith. All of those attributes or quantities just make this person really stand out and shine in the community. The recipient has a passion for the community that's hard to match, not just on the business side, but certainly on the, on the nonprofit side. I'm not sure how many different hats the recipient wears, but it's a bunch. He is so very focused on assisting and helping people. Tri-County has a posture of identifying significant, good standing individuals in the community. And he came about to our site and we said, absolutely, our, our seeking another person is over. Very kind, very warm hearted, always wants to give everybody a hug, say good morning or good afternoon. He makes everybody at ease. He doesn't think he's way up there. He just, he's very low key, just, enjoys helping people to help them to be better. The recipient is clearly a, a financial person and that's his, that's his experience and background, but some of the same skills that he brought to, to our organization in the private sector, he, he brings to the nonprofit world as well. He brings to the table just a very meek and mild um, help of us understanding, and especially me understanding, the financials much better than I did when I joined the organization. He doesn't make you feel unknowing because he's willing to share his knowledge um, in any way and shape that he can. As problems are identified, he looks at those as opportunities and creates solutions with us. That's the major impact that I've had with him. But I'd also call him a builder. He becomes involved in organizations and builds them from a, from a structure and financial standpoint. And these nonprofits, because they have received some of this person's financial knowledge, they can continue to move forward. And as long as they're moving forward and we keep the, the citizens of the community engaged and, and passionate about them, we continue to better our community. Financial leadership is very tough, and especially in the nonprofit world, because financial people do get paid a lot of money, and it's people with huge hearts like this recipient that just gives and gives and gives. And it's not only for Habitat for Humanity, but it's for so many other organizations. It's a long list, and I'm sure I'll leave somebody off, so you'll have to forgive me if I omit something. But starting off just with heavily involved with the Chamber, helping with fundraising for the Chamber, involved with Leadership Winter Haven as an alumni, as a day chair. For us, for Habitat for Humanity, he has been on our board of directors for about the 20 years that I've been involved with Habitat for Humanity. As a friend of our organization, Tri-County Human Services. Oh, Meals on Wheels, him and Chris together, which are a fantastic pair. He's involved with Angel Ministries, the American Cancer Society, um, and the Relay for Life events, Heart for Winter Haven, and just the list goes on and on. In almost all of those organizations, there's the, the, the servant piece to it, but in just about every one, he ended up in a, in a leadership role. Where does the person find this time? I often wondered that. Well, now that he's retired, he's really not retired because he, he works harder now, I think, than he did when he actually had a full-time job. I had to joke. I said, okay, so you're going from a 80 or 90 hour week to a 40 or 50 hour week, because I think that's probably the amount of time he continues to put into the not-for-profit side of things. Without a doubt, what he shares is how he lives. I see no contradictions in his presence with other individuals. It's a constant value to our community through himself. I have not seen them miss a beat as far as volunteering and staying engaged in their community. They continue to be out there championing our city our nonprofits, and our citizens. They keep saying they're gonna slow down, but I'd put money on the fact that it doesn't happen. I am so happy and excited to announce that this year's Citizen of the Year recipient is none other than 
Hap Hazelwood. You and your wife are like no others, and you deserve this recognition, Hap. Hap, congratulations. I am so blessed to have you and Chris as part of my family. You've helped both myself, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna get teary-eyed, myself and my husband be more engaged in our community, um, helped us find a sense of pers purpose and belonging, and just so excited for you to achieve this award. Hap, I can't think of anybody more deserving of this award. Can't believe that you haven't received it earlier. Congratulations. First of all, thank you for everything that you have done for myself, for Habitat, for the community. Because if you live in Winter Haven and you don't know Hap Hazelwood, you have not lived in Winter Haven. Hap, we love you.